Good morning, Pakistan. It's your boy, Mango, here today with special guest, Rebel Taxi. Yeah. I'm sure you guys haven't heard of him, but he lets me put stuff in his butt. Mango, it's not that type of video. Not yet. Questionable guest choices aside, today we're going to be talking about a Cartoon Network pilot that fell completely flat, Bottom Spew. I'm going to let Pan explain the premise with a video I took of him at 2 in the morning because it truly captures the type of emotion that Bottom Spew makes you feel. Bottom Spew, it's about a woman and a teacher who suffers brain damage and she loses her job and her personality completely shifts and now she has to live at home and her mother has to take care of her and she's bleeding money in this mansion. She no longer has any money. She, her life's fucking ruined. Like, there's a scene where her student recognizes her and wants nothing to do with her. They <laughs> ruined her and it's play for laughs. It's all a joke. This woman fucking life ruined. <laughs> it's like if Bojack Horseman was a wacky comedy. It's a wacky comedy. <laughs> okay, okay. This show sounds pretty dark, right? So why is it on Cartoon Network? Beginning in 2013, Cartoon Network created a shorts department, which is an artist program for developing new series. Typically, a pilot created in the shorts department only airs on the CN website, but Bottoms Butte was one of the few shorts to also air on live TV. The creator of Bottoms Butte, Minty Lewis, was already well established at Cartoon Network for working on other shows including We Bear Bears and Regular Show. Since Minty already had connections at Cartoon Network, it would make sense for her to try and air her pilot there. Interestingly enough, the link to the pilot on the CN website no longer works, however you can still find it on the CN YouTube channel. The pilot is pretty straightforward. The main character Beverly breaks her drink machine, the Slusho Gordo. To buy the parts needed to fix it, she earns money by selling green pool water. Beverly claims it's lemonade, but her line escalates. She states it's a performance drink, saying that the money goes to charity and stuff like that, so a ton of people start drinking it. Chug it down, slut. After her slut money is made, Beverly and Peanut can buy the parts to fix the stupid slush machine. At the same time, anyone who drank her green goo has gotten sick and passed out. Much like Columbus after Thanksgiving, Beverly has no sympathy towards the hundred she poisoned. Beverly even exploited kids to run the lemonade stand for marketing value. This worked until the kids took all the money, so she can't even buy the machine parts. In order to earn her money yet again, Beverly turns her mansion into a hospital to treat the very people who drank her toxic lemonade. It worked, and the drink machine got fixed, so it's all thanks to exploiting the sick with expensive medical bills. Hoorah! The Bottom Spute that aired and the Bottom Spute that was originally created are vastly different. Originally, Bottom Spute was meant to be an adult cartoon for adult audiences. The show even originally had a different name, Bottoms Up. In fact, a lot of references to alcohol were removed due to Cartoon Network's younger audience. Originally, the Gordo Slush Show was called the Dacaride. The odd bun incident wasn't initially in the script either. Originally, Beverly got brain damage from a telephone book. Even the character designs were drastically changed. Originally, the cast was supposed to be of animals and humans, but more along the lines of Bojack Horseman, instead of just animals. Bottoms Butte has a fair amount of issues, but the biggest one would be the fact that the show seems to want to be an adult cartoon, but is butchered into a kid's format. Because of this, the show's plot still contains the original edgy and dark elements, but the tone itself is forced to be lighter in order to air on Cartoon Network. This dissonance makes the show an odd experience as you're not completely sure what to feel. Bottoms Butte needs to fully commit to either being an adult cartoon or a family-friendly one. Having so many clashing elements of both makes it feel rough and disjointed. The green pool water was originally supposed to be yellow, hence the idea of lemonade. Because the yellow water looked too much like pee, and thus would be inappropriate for kids, they had to change it to green. This made the entire pilot much more complicated, forcing them to change the simple lemonade to basil lemonade. Throughout the episode, I questioned the significance of this overcomplication and enjoyed the pilot less for it. The original idea of lemonade would have made so much more sense if the water had stayed yellow. Just one of many examples as to why I feel like toning it down butchered the show entirely. I don't particularly care for odd and unnecessary details being used, when it could have been much more simple and iconic. I don't really think the flaws of Bottoms Butte are due to the creators at all. I genuinely think the show could have been fantastic if the final product matched the pitch instead of being watered down for kids. As mentioned previously, Minty has done work on many big cartoons. We tried reaching out to her for comment, but got no response. So we can assume she's either ashamed of both this cartoon and us, or has a life outside Instagram. All we have to go off of are old interviews. Ones where she states she's not only the creator of the show, but also the voice of Peanut, which isn't surprising given Minty's past VA work. Here's what Minty has to say on her inspiration for the show. It's inspired by my 
mom's sister who has a reputation for being crazy. Minty also talks a bit about her method for character creation. Characters come alive when they're in opposition to other characters. Problem solved! It costs money. We don't have that! And they can play off each other and their personalities expand by being juxtaposed with other characters. That's sort of how I perceive the world around me too, is looking at people and how they interact. Hear that, Peanut? No matter what happens, we're always gonna be just fine. Other interviews are a lot more in-depth than the CN ones since they're not required to be kid-friendly. One of the things I was thinking about was my Aunt Beverly, who has a giant, joyful, reckless personality, but now has Alzheimer's and spent most of her life in dealing with alcoholism. Specifically, I was thinking about a story of hers in which she decided to audition for a play as she was drunkenly walking by a theater. They called to give her the lead role the next day, but once she sobered up, she didn't have the guts to follow through. The alpaca character, also named Beverly, grew out of me thinking about what it would be like if she could have just maintained that sweet spot of drunkenness. Like, maybe great things would have been possible if she could have just held on to that optimism and extroversion and risk-seeking behavior. I've always been a fan of basing characters somewhat around real people. A lot of the characters from my own pilot are roughly based off people I've observed and dynamics they have with others. I've actually incorporated some elements of Pan into one of my characters, since Pan has such a cartoonish identity, as well as my friends Nico and Slimy. It's hard not to be inspired by people you love and spend a lot of time with. I feel like the big takeaway here is that sometimes cool and unique projects are put into a box and smothered by network constraints when they easily could have thrived in their original format. Bottoms Butte is just one of many cartoons that could have been a massive success if it was given the chance to thrive. Sadly, this is something both Pan and I have to think about ourselves since we're each working on cartoon pilots of our own. POV, you're dating a YouTuber. Pan, why? <laughs> this idiot. This fucking idiot. What's he doing? Okay, Pan. Do the outro, buddy. You got this. I believe in you. Make sure to smash the like button like my... Make sure to smash my balls like the like button and subscribe with notifications on to instantly hit the gritty. And we will catch you on the flip side.